opportunities for that. We'll get the quick movement under the tunnel there, straight through under the tube, into that B site, oh. and... Yeah, and if you look, all of the up wall on FNS right now, that's massive. Trying to hold the line right now. Good coordination coming through. You can see the early exchange of utility to try to delay things. Oh, are you working his way in the back? That's going to be very helpful. Ooh. Taking down Victor as well. Some big results there on the flank, but now it's just down to Haze against three players. The pressure's coming through, and he's forced to peek straight into crashes. So, and Optic is playing the retake. This should be a decent retake attempt from them. Oh, but the Sage Wall falling, that is the key piece in this retake, Dan. I have no idea how the defuse comes in now. That's such a good point. It's going to be very difficult. They'll have to be a lot more aggressive with this. Trying to rely on the Viper toxic screen there. And Hunter Siri comes through Whoa. as well from EU. And that's going to make life very difficult here on that defuse attempt. And Tex is just going to send it straight forward. So he spots the weakness and he really wants to make it hurt. And there's just no space here for Marv. Just stuck at the back of the site. And he's getting attacked from all sides. And NRG will be able... Spike is going to go down for NRG once again. Doing a great job with that. FNS here, trying to see what he can do, coming out of the kitchen on the walkway, able to take down one, but this Ooh. is looking very difficult, lots of fights breaking out around the spike plant, the spike's not actually being planted just yet, this is going to take Haze out of the picture for a second, but the snake bite will slow down any possible approach. FNS in such a difficult position, has that wall as well, and looks like he's going to get covered here, the trades come on through again though, this is neck and neck, Haze Ooh. doing his best to isolate those fights, but Optic with the presence of mind to make sure that he couldn't. And man, man, that was that was uh, the issue. Will be forced by the time. Some with the blade storm. Oh, and actually has to tuck those knives away thanks to the zero point coming through from Victor, and that slows everything down a little bit. Twenty-five seconds to get this spike planted, and that utility. Now the other Viper's pit coming through from Hayes this time to try to get that plant in, and that's a great opening there. Some finding, yay! Now the plant comes through, and the question is, what play will we have in response here from Optic? The res is in. That's going to make things a little bit easier. Optic find a timing. They take down Haze and the Viper pit drops. And that just leaves EU it's in over. Just an unwinnable position. That was so amazing, Dan. FNS. But I think Haze lurking in mid is going to be the, the game this round. That's the game for NRG. And Android will make the entry happen. Still FNS to deal with. Oh, we're trying to pull out the wall immediately. But there's the punish. Oh, that's an insane shot from Ye. Just barely catching Som to take him down. Enormous kill to get. But here comes that lurk you were talking about. Hazed, unleashed. Takes down Victor. And now it's going to get a little bit tricky. It's a two versus two. This is certainly very dangerous. But Ye doing him one better. And now it's out of position, Dan. It's out of position, but they're not even halved yet. Hayes has no idea. Oh no, Hayes has no awful for these like forward positions. There it goes. Ye takes a spot and run view to follow, and there is very little to punish this one. EU at least gets one kill, but it's so favorable for Optic as they demolish this push. Oh, <laughs> the style points for Ye is just out of control. Yeah, that's actually a very very annoying wall. And Hunter Spirit will come in, in response from EU. We'll see what they can do with it. There's some on the entry, Ooh. and it's working out. The entries are flowing in for NRG. Android with another one. And Crashies will make the play from the back. Has to clutch this one out, and you saw it in your mind's eye. Maybe a transfer, but gets shut down very quickly. And it's looking great now for NRG. They have enough players to cover every eventuality. And in comes Marv from the flank. And it looks like he's going to be ready for this one. And there we go, coming in from jail. And oh, look, just a push triggered immediately from NRG, just charging their way forward, trying to claim that space as quickly as they can. And some up there in the nest trying to get himself some value out of that operator. And there's still a presence backside here for Optic. They're wanting to fight on this one. They're not wanting to allow that spike to go down. Crashy's still holding on to the backside control, and that is a huge problem. Optic not allowing anything oh. to go the way of NRG right now. They're having to fight tooth and nail for all of this space, and they can't get it. Here goes EU, though, to try to rectify that. And oh, Marv comes in from oh. the back. Oh, oh no. But he whiffs. And EU knows what both are. He was so good in these scenarios, and look at him, he's he's trying to find these one-on-ones. And he found one, but crash! Here we go. Yeah, he has yet to be discovered. The wall goes up there, that will... Oh! Two others has the peak in front oh, of the wall, I was gonna my. say. Maybe they could have crossed, but... That's quite painful, and... Guys... They have a triple flank going on in a 5-on-3. I have no idea how energy is gonna stop this flank. With the Hunter's Fury coming in, oh, they can't lose one more. It's badly dodging it, and the Viper's pit comes down. Ooh. So suddenly, it feels like... This is spicy. 
Yeah, it, it felt comfortable for Optic on this retake, but now it doesn't feel quite so comfortable anymore. However, they're stuck in the Viper's pit. It's going to be difficult for NRG here as they await Optic's push. And he's going to start off the processions with one opener. And Tex is still alive and kicking. This is a 2v2 now. It's getting very dangerous. He's still holding onto his ground right now. Suppressed. Trying to work his way in. He spots one. Whoa. Another one going down. He knows where the next one is. Victor taps the bomb. And he comes to oh. said There's almost an opportunity there. For Holding the drone up mid quick. Yeah, looking to see what they can find. Mm. Android able to punish Yay. That's a huge fine. And then they're going to just operate off of that momentum. Pushing it very quickly up the mid. Into that A site. Efineso cry. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. is so scary for FNS. <laughs> and he's not going to live to tell the tale. Crashies is getting pressured as well. They're just so caught out of position here. They're there's a couple players now that has been pressuring him, and finally he'll go down. Oh, he saw a pixel, and there we go. Mark takes one down. Som is in position just in time to deal with that. Oh, oh huge damage to Vulnerable as well. Oh my goodness, oh, FNS, FNS just jumps straight back into it, trying to dodge the Shock Dust, but they cannot be dodged. EU's going to finish off Victor, and it's looking really scary right now. Down to Crashies for no time, no time. and there's no time left. NRG have done a... And FNS is going to get this down. They can't... Stop. Push is coming through. There's so much utility to worry about. So much vision getting blocked off. There's the push beyond the wall. Optic deflecting the attack. And Marv has been bought so much time. And that's going to send an end to this one. Really. Again, they don't have much utility, but they're looking for Marv. And he tees here once again as he is on his default. Oh, Fantastic they found defense. Him. There's no trade at all against Marv. That, that was the plan. You have to at least be able to take down Marv. And Marv might just kill everybody. He does. <laughs> Marv kills everybody. They found him, Dan. They were looking for him, and I don't think they're going to look for him again next round. <laughs> He's on the Viper's Pit now as well, and, and might even get the ace. Sure. Beautiful. That's well, they spot this. Yeah, Marv is going to be spotted. It's all very scary angles to deal with. Marv, 20 HP. He can surely get a lot more delay out of this position as well. It's a very annoying position to deal with. And in the meantime, Spike gets planted on the B site. Flank. Oh, this is, this is kind of sketchy. They're all bunched up, trying to hold at the back line, and here comes Tex. Oh, he had to hit that one. Great angle from FNS. And now it's down to Som and EU. And there comes the pressure. They're going to have to peek into Som. Som has to get the kills, but he won't get the kills. He cannot protect the spike defuse. And there it is. The ult comes in. Wall from FNS comes in. Drop take. Yeah. Marv is just... is too forward. And without any info, he gets to again. Some takes down a couple though, able to deal with Mark. Has to pull out oh. something else. Oh, the oh. shot comes through, almost gets one of the Victor as well. And now it's the one versus one Android. Has a way to do this, Victor is very weak because of the decay. And in Whoa. swings Android, and Victor's gonna drop him. In. Indeed, yeah. I, I think Energy has tried to push the issue a lot of these rounds. They really but have. Again. <laughs> it's the second time when NRG won a round, Sean, that Optic called the timeout. Well Optic change of base here, and the Viper's Pit comes through immediately. That back site wall to prevent the back site space from really converting <gasps> into the retake potential. But Whoa. oh, finding a great timing, and Haze goes down. That's a fantastic kill from Mark to try to just seal the deal here for Optic. They're in a three versus four, but the Spike didn't go down. Oh. It still needs to go down, and Tex in the flank is going to make life even more difficult here now for Optic. How do they find a way to plant this? They've got to frag their way out of this one, surely. And there goes the plant attempt. That means one player is out of the action. They've managed to find it, but there's so many players surrounding them. They're in a corner. They're stuck at the moment in the Viper's Pit. Marv's oh, Viper's Pit is the only thing giving them any chance right now. This is actually wild. The wall kind of confines them a little bit. Tex has the leer out, and Tom Jones right in front of Victor! And they're going to try to just push on that and just, they managed to take him down. It's up to Marv now. He's been absolutely phenomenal. Can he do anything else here? Takes that one. Oh, no. oh! oh my god! Marv takes down everybody for the Red Bull. It's like, you know, they're going to split Arcade and Tree early round. And Energy's going to take the fuck towards Ooh. this B site. And they're going to start streaming through. Don't care about those toxic screens whatsoever. Crashies picks off another one. Starting to get very, very difficult for Android. Stuck between two players. And it's a four versus two after plan here for Optic. They're looking oh! so, so good right now and, yeah, and Tex is in a really forward position there that forward off angle does have the support so it's not like there's no, no defensive setup here looking to try to TP out but gets caught too quickly for that oh, and there the we crap. go the gravity well coming in what a set play out of Optic to try to take arcade control and just run it straight into that B site EU 
on the breach. Trying to guard this. Rope, and oh! he's doing so. Excellent job so far from me. You can't get the third kill, but he's done enough here to give a chance because Android's actually snuck through spawn. And he's got some coming through gen with him as well. There's that Viper's pit. Wow, that's going to make this retake so difficult. Sam has all of his abilities, though, in this jet roll. He could dash One out if he makes this minutes. contact, but he's not going to get it. And it doesn't really give too much here for Ando, but they don't seem to realize. What... Okay, never mind. He was down the poison orb on drop as well. Now, FNS has this rolling thunder online, and there's one place energy can retake from. There it is. It's going to slow things down a lot. See, it's just drawing time. Yeah, forward Nebula though to try to cut off the angles that the Optic team have to defend this spike. And NLG are gaining some ground here. They're doing a good job. It's very difficult, but they're making things happen. Android with another nice pickup. Mark though. And Victor, great Ooh. transfer coming through right at the end to secure the rounds. Get out. Oh, you say, life is be a challenge there, but Ye is just ready for Both everything. controllers, Dan. Both controllers have been picked right now, and this is a third coming Ye's way. Tex has second thoughts. I mean, you know, I think I would as well. This is not going to be fun, but the splash does come out. So Ooh. with that, that gives the advantage. And is there something that Som can do to try to hold the side there? Oh, Tex, oh he's going to have to go beyond it. Great oh. shot from Tex as he falls out of the drop position. Som looking to follow that one up as well. Just flying there to dodge all of that rolling thunder. And Victor's pulled out the rocket, but will he find anything with this? Might be no blocked, way. No, takes down EU. Tex in the back, leaving Som in the one versus two. And it's a quick dash towards the B side here. Som Knowing knows. it's completely open, and Som has a better rotation, just like you said before. Can he find the catch? <gasps> oh, I have to redeploy the poison. That's going to slow down things even more, allowing Som to get closer. It might be able to make the play through. <gasps> There's the pause, the tap, and no. crashes. The and there we go. Som's just going to send it anyway. And unfortunately, can't do. More than one, but that might be enough. We'll have to see now as the Nebula goes down. That does create some time here for NLG to react before the push comes into the site. They've got that flank coming in from the A site here, but oh Optic are moving in so fast. Undeniable on this B site and Victor really making things look easy. And now it's just one avenue of attack on this retake for NLG. And it's just, oh, the confidence is just, it's wow. so... Maybe they'll try to ping the boxes and spray through. I mean, the test, but it's oh, going to instead no. be the rolling thunder coming through. And that is going to be very difficult to deal with. And they know, as you say, where Android has to be, the relative position. And it's just such a good execute once again. EU trying to hold things on in tower. Flash comes through, can't do anything, can't push with it because of the aftershock in return. Coming out of FNS, and now Victor can challenge EU, and he's going to take him out. Just very easy one. You know, we've we've covered it so many times. There's so little, there's such little data in terms of uh, comp matches right now for this Optic team. And as you the fault line into the gravel deep, into the double satchel up. If you're playing in that corridor, you're dead. After that position, and so they have the ability to go back there. And, and here's the collapse coming through the door position as well, trying to eliminate the rest of the optic players. Crashy's holds onto the front though, still alive, and Som will eventually deal with him. Actually, an amazing result from and Dan. He's hopping so deep into defender spawn. Push out of this canteen spot. There's a dash, and there it is. Forces the whiff into cover, but sadly for Som, Som is the last man standing, and he's gonna have to win two very difficult battles. Yeah. He's now on that tree position. There comes the push into the site once again. These executes have been very, very strong. <laughs> but NRG managing to actually slow things down. Getting some of these opening picks, slowing down the attack. In goes EU for some heroics as well. Able to swap out for the Phantom for happening. Crashes is moving forward, and I just don't know. No time. This is so he's running his, back, and, and Song hears it. it. He doesn't have a dash, though. He can't really gain the ground as quickly as he'd like. Oh, and Crashes is the follow up. Oh, no way. I can't believe the round. That's how they get there first. Tom. What can he do here? Going close with the blade storm. Tries to Ooh. take down Crashies, but can't kill Crashies. That Viper's Pit will go down. The showstopper from Victor also clearing space here. That's a guaranteed kill oh. in tower. And Optic have cleared the site. They've got the Viper's Pit down to protect the spike plant. And I, this is so hard for NRG to get back in. It's so hard. EU finds a kill onto Marv. That's one of the controllers down at the very least. Crashes in finesse. Very oh. low. There goes Victor. And it starts to oh. happen. The whiff from Ye. But he's still holding the line. This is very, very hard. Oh, Tech still somehow finds a way to get the kill. But it's up to EU. He's going to get found, though. Util in response. Optic. 
I'm gonna be That's receiving that push. Way. He's and... Asher in heaven. Marved. He's he's all alone up here. Oh, and that's a good start here for NLG. They get the opening two picks here. They got that sight control right now. And Optic are trying to fight them before that spike goes down. That's a great flick from Victor. But yeah, he's against three players. I mean, this is what he does, though. Headhunter ready to go. And he's actually walked in the gaps. They don't see oh, him. He's no. so deep. He's so deep. That's two players down. And there's one more left to go. It's Tex. And yay. He's got two bullets left in the headhunter. One bullet left. Able to swap out for the ghost. And Tex needs to do this for NRG. They're in such a bad position. He has to pick this up. There goes Ye. And Tex delivered. Yeah, a couple of vandals. A couple of upgrades. Oh. Great that, that's going to help a lot. Beautiful trade, though, off of the dash, too. And just running the momentum forward. Like, look, making. One enemy remaining. NRG aware, though. Very aware. They are aware. Victor in this one on five. He's not going to find anything. The, the prime gaming flawless comes in toward a force out. Very scary. Oh. And was A, which is where NRG are going. But look where that tour de force is now, Tan. It's coming right at them. And they also have Victor with these paint shells right here at sand. Oh, oh no. no! Absolute catastrophe as Ye finds perfect timing with the tour de force oh, God, and annihilates the entire team, secures the A. Might have a battle over arcade. Ye's on the operator. He was making his way under past oh. Tan. I think he, he could alt Ye right now oh. and they could push him, but... Oh, yeah, they take him out. He found his way around the back there because Ye was scoped in the entire time. And that's that's the opening they needed. They at least trade some for Ye and Crash. He's on the site. And there's another trade coming through. Very responsible stuff here from NRG as their spacing allows them to, to take these forward positions. And EU catches FNS. So Optic, they're getting picked apart one by one at this point. Opportunity for Victor. He's going to be able to secure it. And rolling Thunder in response to slow things down. That is, that's unfortunate that EU felt he had to use it there. And all it yeah. does is slow things down. It doesn't even get a kill. No, no spike plant still. Oh, the paint shell slows it down oh even more. My. And there's the lurk into the Viper's pit. Android wins that. Very important. Now Victor could just play spoiler to this one play, but that was pretty scary. On to that in, you know, the five on four. It, the round was still way up in the air. So that was that was a huge loss for them, but they secure the round nonetheless and get things a little from NRG. And NRG haven't gained any ground for, for all of that exchange. Oh. Thinking, oh, maybe they go back to a, a B after losing their player dish, but in goes Victor. It's actually a whiff of the oh, chokestop. It doesn't spike. matter because that's a spike going beyond the wall. That was not supposed to happen. And NRG are in desperation mode. Three versus five, but they've got to get that spike planted. Som's able to grab that one and get back. Sight! Oh, he gets denied! And FNS keeps the pressure. Just piling on and they have nowhere to turn.